We're now ready to prepare our tray for umbilical uh, catheter insertion in a neonate. So first we need to ensure that we have all the supplies necessary on the tray. This is a sterile procedure. Um, so first we have our cleaning aseptic cleaning solution. We use chlorhexidine. It may be with alcohol or without alcohol, depending on the size of the neonate. We also add two extra Halstead forceps and two drain sponges in order to protect the skin in the cleaning process. We would also need a cord tie for the umbilical cord after it's cut to minimize any bleeding, and we will cut the cord with a scalpel and blade. To secure the catheters after the cord, uh, after the catheters are in, uh, we will secure it with this 4 silk suture and a needle driver to the cord. We'll need various utensils. Um, first, the iris forceps, curved and straight, and they will be useful in dilating uh, the artery or the vein for the procedure. The tooth-tipped iris forceps and the straight mosquito forceps are utilized to be able to stabilize the cord when inserting the, the catheters. Also mosquito scissors, which will be used to cut suture when necessary. We will have, of course, various sterile drapes uh, to keep your sterile field and various gauze, gauzes needed in the procedure. Then moving on, um, we have here also a towel clamp and a large Kelly they can be utilized first to stabilize uh, the cord and clamp in a vertical uh, position before it's cut, or if we need to, uh, to keep the towels together. Then going on, we'll have, of course, sterile uh, normal saline flush that's required to flush our lines, which we will show it shortly. And we have various syringe sizes depending on your preference. Along with that, we'll have a three-way stopcock, which is used uh, for the setup for the umbilical uh, catheters for a UAC insertion. And we also have a needle-free IV adapter or connector, which is used often in our UVC insertion process. Now we can move on to our catheters. There's various umbilical catheter sizes. What we use in the neonates is most often a 3.5 argyle. We also have, and it's a single lumen, and it also comes in a 3.5 double lumen catheter, most often used in our more critical patients for UVC insertion. And then we also have a number five French uh, single lumen umbilical catheter, which is often used in our bigger babies, which are greater than 2.5 kilos. Now that we have ensured that we have all the equipment ready, now we need to prepare our catheters. For in this, uh, we want to prepare for a UAC and a UVC. So I'm going to take the 3.5 UAC for an arterial setup. And with this is a very important step, um, we must ensure that these catheters are flushed uh, without any air in the line before they're inserted into the baby so that we ensure that no air goes into the infant. So first you want to ensure all the air is out of your syringe. This is sterile normal saline. You're going to take your three-way stopcock. You're going to insert it to the end, always holding it vertical through the ports to ensure that the air rises. Always flush out every port. Again, slightly tapping to ensure all the air rises. Once that's done, recap. Now we're ready to attach the catheter, which will go on the end. And again, you want to flush through, ensuring that all air is out of the catheter. And you do that by gently tapping in a vertical position. And as we see, everything is flushed. Now when everything is flushed, turn it off to, to everything. And that will ensure now that you're ready for insertion and no air will re-enter the system before insertion. For a UVC, you may use the same type of setup. However, an alternative setup that we often use is an IV needle-free adapter. And that's this here. We attach that, the saline syringe to the end. It screws on. And again, be very 
careful to ensure that all the air comes out. You need to tap it and keep it in a vertical position. Once the air has been removed, then you will take your catheter, attach it to the end, and now you must flush, flush through the catheter, and again holding it vertical and ensuring all the air is removed. And now we are ready with both our catheters flushed. We are now ready for the insertion process.